It's getting about that time. I wish the wind would die down a little more. Leave him alone, let him sleep tonight. We'll uh, get him in the morning. What is going on guys? It is April 19th, Wednesday, and uh, I am exhausted. It is 4.15 right now. I just pulled into the parking lot. I got to get back here and get on this bird. I roosted a bird last night um, out at the end of this point. Uh, so I got a pretty long walk to get back there. Um, I'm not even gonna guess, but I'm assuming it's gotta be like two miles. Let me look here on Onyx. So to get back to this bird, it's 1.56 miles from this parking lot. So um, I got a pretty good walk ahead of me. I'm gonna get moving, pack up. That's always a uh, chore <laughs> and uh, We'll get walking here, so I'll be with you shortly. All right, guys, it's probably too dark to film still, but I just had a turkey gobble. I don't think it's the same bird that I roosted last night. my bird. I think I just grossly misjudged where he is. He seems super far. This bird sounds very far and maybe down over the side of the hill. So I'm going to make a move. I think I'm going to work up a little ways and then kind of drop down. If he keeps gobbling, if he stops, I might just set up and sit there for a while. All right, let's work up this ridge while he's gobbling. See if we can't pinpoint him a little better.
Boy, you drive like a hammer. Oh. <laughs> That's a Jake. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I do not believe it. Oh, he's still trying to get away. I was wondering why he didn't move for so long. Oh. Let's talk about this week. I'm telling you, man. Ooh, I was getting discouraged. But I'm telling you, if you just keep at it, you keep hammering, something's gonna happen. It's gonna break at some point, and um I came down here to Kentucky to, you know, get my first Kentucky bird. And uh, it's a Jake, but I couldn't be more pumped. He's only got about a two inch beard, if that. But uh, I can't believe it. So last night I was up here and I roosted a bird. And there was like... And, and he was out at the tip of this ridge over here, I thought. At least that's what it sounded like. There's a big gravel road up top here, and that's where I was roosting him from. And he gobbled four or five times, and I thought I had a really good idea where he was. Well, I walked, you know, in the dark all the way out, got in up on that ridge, and I was listening. So the first bird to sound off literally sounded like it was on this ridge over here. And the bird that I, you know, where I thought I roosted him never gobbled. And I waited and I waited. He never gobbled, never gobbled. So then I started thinking, I think this bird is like so far out at the end, which is all private property. I was 100 yards from the property line as it is. And I think his gobbles were like bouncing off of this ridge face and coming back to me or something. And it made it sound like he was on this ridge. Because I walked out that ridge last night hooting, never got a single um, gobble. But, I mean, that doesn't mean it's not a different bird. But it, it's hard to believe that that bird was, like, hammering this morning. He gobbled 20 times. And where I thought there was a bird, I heard nothing all morning. So um, I stood up, and I'm, like, trying to listen and trying to figure out exactly where that bird was. And he, he, you could tell he was probably turning around in his tree gobbling because... He just sounded like he was coming from a different place every time he gobbled. And I'm not kidding, man. If you haven't hunted these hills, hearing and figuring out where these birds are is so difficult. So as I'm like trying to figure out where this bird was gobbling from, I hear up at the top in this corner here, another bird gobble. And it sounded like a Jake. It was a real half, like, you know, half foot together gobble. He gave it a good old college try though. My thought was like, well, um, you know, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Let's circle around. Maybe there is a bird on this other ridge. I can get on that ridge. There's at least a group of jakes over there or a jake over there. And uh, I walked all the way back out that ridge, popped onto the gravel road, walked in and just cut in maybe 80 yards off this gravel road on the first bench here. I gave it two calls and then I got really quiet and I'm just you know, sitting there waiting for uh, something to pop off, something to gobble, something. And I start hearing stuff coming through um, the leaves. And I'll tell you what, you hear squirrels and deer and stuff all day. When you hear turkeys walking through the woods, you know it's turkeys. Like, I knew immediately. 45 yards with a 410. Cracked his head. Knocked him. Done. <laughs> the old 410 got to eat. Oh, I'm so pumped. I am so pumped. All right, well, I'm gonna uh, take a couple pictures, let some people know, and walk back up here and find where my camera went, and God. Dang it. Beautiful.
work out like you thought or change plans? No, it worked out a little different than I thought, but it's a it's a Jake. I killed a Jake. He was I can't tell, man. With the way these hills are, like you can't tell where the hell they are. Uh-huh. It's like ridiculous, man. <laughs> like I swear he was on this ridge yesterday night. Like it was so obvious. And then when he started gobbling, I swear to you, it sounded when I got I was on that ridge, I was 250 yards from where I thought he was. It sounded like he was on the other ridge. Why would that be? Is he down low? And his gobbles bouncing off and coming back or something? So what if he was up on the point and he's last night he was facing you when he gobbled? Yeah. This, this, during the night he switched and he's facing completely opposite of you. And it sounds carrying away from you. While he was gobbling, I heard another bird, which sounded like a Jake. He did that like, <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. He gobbled right up, like, I don't know, maybe 150 yards from where I was, like back, like towards uh, the ridge I came off of. So like walking back towards my truck. So I was, I'm like, man, I don't even know where this bird is now. If I walk back out that way, I'll at least put myself in a position to kill a Jake. But if I don't kill that Jake, I'll, if he keeps gobbling the time, maybe I'll be able to pinpoint him better up at the head of the valley. Right. And uh, I got up here, sat down, and I just like was settling in. I gave a couple calls, moving, just moving leaves, just like scratch, 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 scratch. And three Jakes come walking up the hill looking for me. Hey, let me show you the, I'll send you a picture. He's a super Jake, dude. You should see the, you should see his, his, fail, his, ta his tail fan's almost filled out. It's got like two feathers on each side that aren't full grown yet. Did, uh, did you get good video? No. <laughs> no, I got video of me shooting it, and the camera was pointed, like, the wrong direction when he was coming in, so. Yeah. But that's okay. That's right. Well, congratulations.